Tumekuwa hapa tangu asubuhi eh, kuandikisha taarifa. Mimi sikujua ya kwamba nimekuwa salmon. Nilikuwa nakuja in solidarity um, for my friends and my colleagues on the Pomoroto, our senior and on the Porote. Arriving here I was told I'm on the list. And of course you know the the fourth state people know me I'm a common culprit of these people. Na yale mimi nime uh, nimeambiwa hata mimi nimekuja kushangaa ya kwamba mimi nimeulizwa eh, eh, siku moja pale constituency yangu huko south ya kwamba mimi nilimwambia serikali eh, waanzishe tume la kuchunguza boundaries kati ya Pokot na Watikana kwa sababu hiyo ni moja wapo ya vita ile iko katika upande yetu ya West Pokot County na mimi ningependa kusema hata sahihi ya kwamba mimi naitisha serikali ya Kenya eh kuteua tume boundaries commission wakuje kule waangalie wasikize wapokot wasikize watukana ndio tuwe na, na tuwe na ukweli ya kwamba hapa ndio mwisho wa wapokot hapa ni mwisho wa watukana na mpokot akipatikana sehemu ambayo inaita turkana hata yeye ni mkenya anaweza pia ku report lord wa sisi hatuna shida na turkana akipatikana upande ya ambayo inasemekana ni pokot yeye ni mkenya a report upande ya kapenguria kwa sababu yawezekanaje na mimi nauliza Kenya ambaye inanisikia saa hizi yawezekanaje ya kwamba uko na location moja ambaye chief ni mturkana na chief ni pokot chief moja wanaita location moja chief moja ana report turkana ama lodwa nyingine ana report kapenguria na wanasema ni location moja hiyo inawezekanaje hiyo hiyo inawezekana hiyo ndio mimi nimeulizwa ya kwamba kwa usingi wewe ulitisha serikali ya kuja awasije tume la uchunguzi hiyo sio makosa na mimi ningependa kusema mbele ya umma na mbele ya dunia ya kwamba mimi nataka eh, eh, serikali yetu tukufu ianzishe boundaries commission hata yash pal kai commission of 2005 ilikuwa ni ya katiba na mambo ya boundaries hata wapokot pia walipeana issues yao ya boundary yetu 2005 ya wapokot na transwea and there was no intimidation there was no harassment it is just a commission we just call for commission it's not a sin nor is it uh, an illegality kwa hivyo mimi ningependa kusema eh na ningependa kuitisha serikali nikisema way forward ya kwanza mimi naambia serikali amani ya wapokot na waturkana na wasamburu na kila mtu haiwezi kuja kwa kufanya viongozi kuandikisha statement amani inakuja kwa dialogue let leaders dialogue let leaders of pokot and turkana dialogue let us also dialogue with our people our community that is when we will get peace but uh, inviting and, and making uh, leaders record statement in my view it is inciting communities kwani wapokot wanafikiria na marekani sasa kama viongozi wao wote wanapanga laini kuandikisha statement the government itself is causing conflict and i want to say that the government is setting conflict by making leaders you know record statements for what reason hiyo mimi naambia serikali you cannot get peace through this way and i mean ambia waziri ndugu yangu ambaye tumekaa naye sana mheshimiwa gindiki this is not how you get peace my brother please style up style up my brother this is not how to bring peace bring us together with leaders of turkana rather than meeting in a police station record statement waje tukutane kainuku na watu kana wenzetu waje wakuje kapenguria tukule pamoja alafu tuende lodwa tukule pamoja tuongeleshe watu wetu ndio kutakuwa na amani mheshimiwa kibaki alifanya mheshimiwa rais eh, alienda alifanya let also this government do and finally we want to tell our community the pokot nation namba wanatusikia saa hizi we will tell them hatutatishwa kuongelesha watu wetu ama kuongea juu ya watu wetu hatutatishwa we want to tell pokot who are listening to us na sifikiri tumebabaika hatutababaika we will defend our people when government is against our people we will defend our people When our people are invaded we will defend our people tuta tutasimama na watu wetu na viongozi wanachaguliwa kusimama na watu yao na sisi tumechaguliwa na watu hawatu kuchaguliwa na miti ama ama mawe tumechaguliwa na watu na tutasimama na watu yetu kama ni statement mia moja, tuko tayari kama ni statement mia mbili, mheshimiwa posing mimi niko tayari asanteni sana uh, asanteni sana uh, mimi naitwa Titus Lotse mjumbe wa eneo bunge la Kacheliba Uh, siku ya leo nimekuja uh, hapa pamoja na mwenzangu mheshimiwa Sinia Moroto na mheshimiwa Kosing pamoja na viongozi wote wa West Coast County kitu ambacho pengine ningependa kusema ni kwamba ukiangalia siku ya leo mambo ambayo yametendeka utafikiria kwamba mambo ya insecurity imeanza hii mwaka 
mambo ya security imekuwa kwa muda. Na kama viongozi tumetoa maono yetu kwa muda sana kwa serikali zote ambazo zimekuwa mambo ambayo yanatakana kufanywa kwa muda mfupi, muda wa katikati na muda mrefu. Lakini mpaka sasa nasikitika kwamba mambo haya ambayo tulisema tuyafanyie tufanyiwe hajayafanyiwa. Kitu ambacho sasa serikali inafanya ni kujaribu kufanya viongozi wasiongee. Mashule mpaka sasa kuna wakati rais mwenyewe alisema kwamba mashule ambazo ziko katika eneo ambayo ina changamoto ya usalama zifunguliwe. Mpaka sasa hivi mashule hajafunguliwa bado. Na ili hali waziri badala ya kwenda kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ambayo aliambiwa na rais yafanyike sasa kazi yake ni kuita sisi hapa kwa DC hai ili tuanze ku record statement kama njia moja wapo ya kusema kwamba tusiongee kwa mambo ambayo yanatendeka moja ya malengo ama kazi ya kiongozi ambao amechaguliwa kama mimi na wenzangu hapa ni kuwa sauti ya watu wao mambo ambayo tunayasema tukisema kwamba tunavamiwa unakuja unaambiwa mbona ulisema mnavamiwa tukisema kwamba mambo ya boundary yataka kushughulikiwa unaulizwa mbona ulisema then kazi yetu ni vipi kama hatuwezi kuwa tunaongea kwa niaba ya watu wetu itamaanisha kwamba pengine hawataki viongozi kutoka eneo hili pengine tusichaguliwe kwa sababu hii ni kitu ambayo inaona ni ujuma kwamba viongozi wote wameweza kuitwa ku record statement kutoka eneo moja na si eneo hili peke yake ndio ina mambo ya ukosevu wa usalama tumeona counties nyingi viongozi kuna viongozi ambao hawajaitwa ili hali huko kuna kuwa na ukosefu wa usalama sana sisi tunaangalia na siku leo kama ulitazama vizuri sana serikali hii yenyewe mheshimiwa Kindiki ambao tulisoma na yeye ndio anatengeneza ukosefu wa usalama sasa kwa sababu leo nakuru tumeona watu rukano wamekuja wote wapokoto wamekuja wote na hii si jambo ambayo tunaiona tu hapa hata wale wako nyumbani wanashangaa viongozi wetu wamefanya makosa gani viongozi wetu rukano wamefanya makosa gani kuanza kuvurutwa badala ya sisi kwenda kushughulikia kuendelesha maendeleo ya watu wetu sasa sisi kazi yetu ni kuja ku record statement tume record statement Berlin last year tulikuwa hapa senator wetu ame record statement deputy governor wetu ame record statement mheshimiwa wa chakapo ame record statement sisi wengine tume record statement leo kazi yetu ni kuja hata sasa tumeambiwa tarehe 28 wakati wengine wanaenda ku constituency zao kuendelesha maendeleo sisi tunakuja wapi hapa yani ujuma unaendelea na serikali hii badala ya kutuita sisi viongozi kukapa moja tuongee mambo ya amani sisi tunaambiwa yenu ni kwenda kwa DCI viongozi wale wengine ni kuongea mambo ya maendeleo si tutapata uhuru lini tutapata uhuru lini ini ujuma ini kuonewa ini kutopendwa na ningependa tu kuambia serikali hii waangalie sana serikali ya Kibaki kitu ambacho serikali ya Kibaki ilifanya ndio serikali hii inaweza kufanya tulikuwa na hari sana na hii serikali tukijua kwamba hii ndio serikali ambayo itatukomboa kutoka mambo mengi lakini naona kwamba tangia tulipopata sasa imekuwa ni kwamba sisi huitwa DCI tunaambiwa vitu ambazo pengine hata hujasikia kwa masikio mimi ningemsema pole serikali hii ifikirie jinsi ambavyo amani inakuja kutuita kwa DCI kuleta taharuku kwa watu wetu kuja hapa na wale ambao wako nyumbani ni kuongeza amaki na kuleta amani kwa ribika zaidi sisi ni wapenda amani sisi tunahubiri amani tunafanya zaidi hata vile serikali inavyofikiria tuwe na hii amani lakini serikali haifanyi kazi yake kazi ya serikali sasa ni kutuita DCI kuandika statement baada ya hiyo watu wakiuawa leo ni sisi tunaenda kuzika serikali ya wako watu wakipigwa ni sisi tunaenda serikali ya wako lakini sisi ndio tunaandika statement hapa kwa ni sana serikali ya Kenya yangu yatakuwa ni mwenzangu amesema kwa majina anaitwa Samuel Moroto mimi ni mjumbe wa Kapenguria wakati tuliambiwa tuje tarehe 28 ndio nitakuwa ni Wednesday pale mimi nitakuwa naendelea na kila Jumatano kuna makao watu wanakaa asubuhi na jioni which means sisi kama watu wa area hii ya West Port viongozi tutakosa two sessions ya parliament ile kitu tunataka niseme kwa mheshimiwa rais hii ni hasala hasala ndio naumia na tulitembea na wewe mpaka tuka deliver tukasema wewe ndio utaongoza mimi sijaona nimekaa hii area mara pale mara mrefu nilisafu moyo 
nikiwa office of the president nilisaf kibaki nilikuwa home affairs hii ni mara ya kwanza hii wajumbe tulienda siku moja tukamwona mheshimiwa rais hata asikia mimi vizuri tumetoka naye mbali yeye yeah, anapiga simu na kuanza kusema muende muone kindiki waziri wa interior kufika huko jamaa kukaribisha sisi na ni president ametoa orders akaambia wale wajumbe watukana waende waone kindiki huyo naye hakuona watu mimi hata nataka nieleze eh, kweli vile alisema kuna mawaziri hawaelewi kazi yao hii serikali ni yetu na sisi ndio tuliweka pale fakia kila mtu waje wale watu wanakuja kuhudumia wananchi wakuja wafanye kazi mzuri sasa tuweze kukubali vitu kama hii ati kwa hiyo tunakuja kuandikisha hapi gaye ngini well mtu akiwa na makosa si mbaya kwenda kotini hii malodging yote ya, ya polisi hapa mimi najua si mara ya kwanza kwa hivyo hata kuna serikali hajanifunga hata ya Kenya 1976 mzee nilitembea yeah, kidogo nikitafuta mahari ya kooa ndio inakawekwa ndani haya <laughs> ya, ya moi siasa siasa ikaingia ndio ya kibaki hata tulilala hapo lakini waje iwe kweli lakini kama hii ya leo ni aibu na unajua hata uzuri siku hiyo unaweza kuona waziri ambaye anahusika na usalama hata kama unajua hata makosa ni yako lakini hii ambaye president sema waenda waone fulani alafu anapotea alafu sasa huko anasema ataweka kila mtu ndani waje ajaribu hii hakuna kitu ambacho itafanyika yeah? hata now we are preparing either kumuoa ama tupeleke kotini kwa sababu miss use your office wewe jamaa na hizo kindiki ana heshima kwa watu kazi yake sasa yetu kuwa kwa katika uniform ya serikali kwa nini askari yeye ni civilian asante <laughs> majina mimi ni Steve Biko Sur mimi ni wakili wa waheshimiwa ambao wako hapa i do represent honorable lote from kachelipa i do represent honorable kosing from pokot south i do represent honorable moroto from kapenguria and i was here earlier with the leadership from pokot that is the entire membership both of the national assembly as well as the local supporters we were summoned here today for purposes of recording statements about insecurity issues uh, pitting both pokot and turkana counties that is west pokot and accordingly took statements this morning we started at about 9 a.m up to this hour when we've just concluded the statement recording my clients will be returning to this place on the 28th of this month to confirm whether the investigations are concluded and two whether they are being charged or whether the investigations conclude and effectively rendering them free and free forever but most importantly for the fourth estate and the members of the public these are peace loving citizens of this country that's why we all came here for this purpose we intend to go back to west pokot and to preach peace between the pokots and the turkanas so that we can live peacefully for purposes of development most importantly there were concerns about weapons there were concerns about uh, banditry and there were concerns about livestock theft which has been consistent for a very long time and perpetually so so we do trust that as you relay this information to the public will be supported in correctness and in truth as to exonerate themselves from the allegations being made so far we have recorded those statements and we trust that investigations will be impartially done to help us conclude this and to unearth the entire stalemate so far emanating over there lastly peace is what we are preaching and we trust that the members of parliament most fundamentally as well as the governor of Turkana who was here uh, the mp for Turkana south uh, the senator for Turkana has just left that's why they were all summoned together so that the blame game across the aisle is not exalted beyond what it has been and we trust that as they go back home they'll do the best kwa niaba ya umma tulikuja hapa kwa kushukuru na kushabikia yale ambao walikuwa meitiwa tumeleza kauli yao kwa usalama na kuendeleza na kushinikiza usalama kule Turkana na Pokot um, kaskazini tunashinikiza wote ambao wanaenda pale kuwa ukweli ndio tunafaa kujua na ukweli ndio tueleze kikauli yetu iwe ya kusaidia wale kuishi pale na kutengamana vizuri yale ambayo yameelezwa ni kuwa kuna maelezo na polisi kwa wana hawa viongozi ambao tunao wamekuwa kichangia pakubwa 
kwa kuendeleza usalama na pia uchochezi ambao inasemekana walifanya lakini tumekuja tukaeleza ukweli na kauli yao ndio hiyo asanteni sana